Sharon here and today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make photo frames like the ones that are showing now so using frames in Canva. So frames are basically photo holders and there are so many available to use for free so I'm going to show you in this video how to do it using a free Canva account. So let's crack on. So once you have a design um, set up in your Canva account all you need to do is click on elements in the menu on the left hand side here. Now, if you can't see elements there, then if you click on the more option at the bottom and elements would be listed in this section here. So this basically is anything that isn't listed in the menu here, you can find in the more option. So it is click on elements. Once you're in elements, you can either scroll down until you find the frame section, which is here and then click see all, or you can type frames in the search bar at the top and it lists the suggestion here and you just go with the one that is the heart shaped next to frames and it opens up the same thing. So this basically brings up a selection of frames that you can use to hold your photo or picture. So if you hover over any of them and you'll see whether it's free to use, so it will say free or a paid one which will have pro next to it. So as you can see, there's, there's so many available to choose from that are all free. So you just find one that you want to use, click on it, and it will be placed in the in your design. If you want to resize it, just click on any of the drag handles in the corners and you can just resize and reposition as you want. Then once you're happy, to, happy with it, you can then add your own photo to it. So to upload your image, if you click on uploads on the left hand side menu again and go into upload media and then just select where your image is stored from the options available here and navigate to it and, and then double click on the image to upload. Another bonus tip for you is if you actually drag and drop the image, so if I just get an image here, if you drag and drop the image anywhere on the left hand side here and drop it, no matter which menu you're currently in, it will automatically go to the uploads menu and upload that image into there. To insert the image into the frame, all you need to do is click and hold the image that you want to use and then drag it into your design. So as you hover over the frame, let me just choose one here. I'll go with this one. So click and drag. And then as you hover over the frame, you can see it will appear in the photo holders that are there, depending on how many um, holders it actually includes in the frame that you've chosen. And then just release it and it will go into there. And then just repeat the process until all the placeholders are filled in your frame. So to edit the image at when it's actually in the frame, all you need to do is double click on the actual photo you, that you want to edit. So I'm double clicking on this one here and you'll see that it's now showing the full image. And all you need to do is reposition it. So I'm just gonna move, move it across so we can see all of it. And then click either done or cancel at the top here so you can see that's repositioned better and again double click on the image you want to use I'm just going to move this down a little bit so we can get all of her ears this is the lovely Xena by the way this is our rescue dog so she's gorgeous <laughs> you'll be seeing a lot of her in my videos I'm afraid <laughs> and then we'll just do this one here double click on this image and we'll just move her across so you can see her head and click done. That's how you reposition the image once it's inside the frame. If you actually want to edit the image as in putting um, filters or effects onto it, all you need to do, click on the actual image once and you'll see the options across the top here. Click on edit image and you've got your filters and all the effects that you can use here. Go to filters and let's put in retro. So you can see that's now applied the filter to that just that one particular image in the frame and then just repeat it to whichever photos you want to change. To resize or edit the actual frame itself, just click and drag the drag handles of the frame and the photos will automatically resize within the frame. If you decide you want to change the image, then if you click and drag a new image over the existing one, that it will automatic, automatically incorporate any filters or effects that you've put on there. So if we have, let's choose this one, and we're gonna click and drag it over this middle photo and release, you'll see it's kept the actual filter that was on the, ori that was on the original um, photo. If you don't want to keep any filters on there, then click on the image that you want to remove, click once on the image, 
press delete on your keyboard and then drag and drop the replacement image into there and there'll be no filters or anything on that image and then you can just click once onto the photo go to edit image and scroll down to filters and apply your own filters if you want to to delete any image in the frame all you need to do is click once on the image and press delete and the placeholder will still be visible or you can click once on the image and go to the top right corner and you'll see the bin there the trash can just click on there and delete image and it's the same thing if you want to delete the actual frame itself then click anywhere on the frame as long as it's not the photo and go up to the trash can again and click delete and it will remove the frame and all the images within that frame i hope you take the time to have a look through all the different frames available because there's so many and have a play around with the filters and effects and everything um, just to create some really great designs i'll put some links at the end here to um, some more of my canva videos i really hope you found this helpful let me know in the comments which is your favorite frame that you use and until the next time thanks for watching and bye for now